I'd like to thank everybody for coming out on a beautiful sunny day in Murray KY where the sun always shines bright. Uh, like you said, we're going to open it up for questions, no opening statements or anything. Uh, so fire away. Uh, Coach, just as the season comes up, uh, where are some of the top places that you guys have improved the most from last season and where are some places that you guys still need to you know, close with it? Well, our, our biggest improvement is we've added people who can make plays with the ball in their hands and, and score baskets. Uh, we've added a lot of length and athleticism on the defensive end. Uh, so that's the biggest place. I'm really pleased with our staff. We've added three new staff members, uh, Kiana Kirby, who just graduated. So she played with all of our, with our eight returners. Uh, work ethic unquestionable on the court during her career. So they know firsthand what she's been through and she understands them and can help be an intermediary uh, for the coaching staff with, with our student athletes. Uh, Keisha McClinic spent five years on staff in the SEC at Alabama and came to us from a junior college where at the junior college level, it's kind of like the diff this level. You have to do everything. Your hands have to be in a lot of areas. Uh, she's been great, great energy. And then Aubrey Reese we just hired uh, with his professional playing experience. I've kind of turned him into the director of player development, uh, and that's helped tremendously. So those are the biggest areas where, where we've improved. And, you know, I think we've got a chance to be pretty good if we can get healthy and stay healthy. Uh, because we really have, where last year we might have had two people who could make a play with the ball in their hands effectively. We, we've, we have numerous people who are capable of doing that now. What issues do you face injury-wise right now? Uh, just, just a lot of people banged up. Uh, the point guard position, it's like every, we have four point guards on the roster that are listed as point guards, which is, which is a good number, uh, but all four of them have injury issues, you know, from just banged up knee and a you know, separated shoulder or whatever. Uh, so we're, we're dealing with some issues there, um, but all but one of them are back in. And then we have a junior college transfer who was in the top 10 in the nation in scoring last year that hasn't been on the court with us yet uh, with a, a leg injury, uh, but she should be back with us once we get into the season. She's on the path to recovery. Uh, so hopefully we'll have her full go in the mix by the time uh, we get into conference for sure, and she'll be an exciting addition. From a leadership role, who do you see stepping up and taking over that? Position? You know, they, our senior class has done a great job uh, so far, and all of our returners really have, have done a pretty good job. Uh, Keyshawn and James has been a much, much better teammate as a leader, uh, whereas last year, you know, as a freshman, she really – took it all on herself, just wanted to do it all herself and, and didn't have a lot of patience. She's been a much more patient leader. Uh, she's still aggressive and demanding, uh, but has really done a good job of tempering that. Uh, so I think those, those are the people, but our, our seniors, four seniors have, have done a nice job. And then we have a leadership council doing something a little different where I have a member of each class plus our seniors that can come to me as a group to talk about issues. So uh, I think that's been a big help. Also with James, she showed a lot of improvement since arriving. How much more of a ceiling does she have? Uh, it's, it's unlimited for her. You know, she, she probably had the best freshman year of any freshman we've ever had. I've coached three freshmen of the year, and she was OVC freshman of the year. And, uh, you know, if you look at the numbers and compare uh, everything, she's right there along a uh, little bit better numbers than Ashley Hayes had, who, you know, got her shot and played professionally. Uh, KJ is a 28% three-point shooter last year. She's really worked on that part of her game and worked on being more patient and instead of just being 100 miles an hour all the time, shifting gears. And, uh, you know, I, I look for her to make a big jump this year. Numbers-wise, there may not be a big jump uh, because of the added people that we have and the pieces that can put the ball in the basket. So, you know, from a number standpoint, it may not be evident, uh, but a much more uh, controlled player much, much more, more mature. With Natanya Jackson getting a pro contract, uh, that, fantastic for racer women's basketball, but you lose her as an enforcer down low. Who do you expect to step up and pick up her rebounding and her just grit down well, low? Well, it's, it's, we'll be a completely different team without her, okay? Uh, we're long, we're all very athletic. We have the ability where, uh, where we can trap all over the floor and sprint back and get into plays. 
Uh, so that's that's one of the things we're looking to do. It'll be a committee type thing. Kyra Gulich had some some great some great games last year. Had some double doubles. Uh, was just inconsistent. She's been uh, much more consistent in practice so far this year. So I look for her to step into that role. Lexi Cassell has improved a lot. Um, we'll have the ability with our length on the wing. You know, we'll have a five ten wing player with a six one wingspan. So we'll have the ability uh, to play small and basically play five guards and still be able to trap and rotate and do things and get back in, into rebounding. Uh, rebounding will be a concern for us, there's no question about it. Um, but my biggest concern is making sure that, that we're bringing out the aggression in our players that we need right now. That's what we're working towards. We're working towards being a, an extremely aggressive team. And that's the challenge. And then, you know, if we ever need to get to a point where we pull them back and we can pull on the reins a little bit, that, that's a lot easier to do than to get them to be aggressive. Talking about having almost a new type of team, what's the team dynamic like going into the season? It, it, it's great. You know, like I said, we, we have eight returners. Five of those returners started in games last year. Uh, all of them played in games. All of them went through a season where there was a lot of internal struggle within the team. Uh, you know, at one point in the season, we had five people on the team that didn't speak to each other off the court. And you know, if you think back to last year, I was constantly after every game saying the same thing, like the other team's playing for something bigger than themselves and we're just playing for individuals. And, you know, for whatever reason, we couldn't, couldn't get a handle on that last year. So those eight returners all went through that and they know how close they were to winning games. You know, we lost a bunch of games that came down to the final 30 seconds in conference and, you know, they understand that and they don't want to go through that again. So they're working hard to make sure that that does not happen this year. And, uh, you know, as a coaching staff, we're doing some things different. Our book study this year is uh, on a book called The Hard Hat by John Gordon, and it's about becoming a great teammate and what it is to be a great teammate. So that's one thing. And, you know, we give them quizzes online over that, over that material uh, about once a week, once every two weeks. They have a quiz where they have to go back and reread certain sections of the book. Uh, so that's some of the stuff we're doing. Talking a lot about... You know, what did you do as a teammate today to help your team? And then having each individual player point out three of their teammates and what they did great in practice that day. And I think those things are helping right now. Of course, we're getting ready to start playing games. And, you know, when minutes start changing, you know, people start getting their minutes and figuring out, OK, well, I'm playing this many minutes, but she's playing that many minutes. That's the real test of it. What, how will their attitudes be then? Have the uh, practices been competitive? Uh, no, no question about it. They've been, um, we've been able to juggle our teams around, and I tried to keep get everybody a chance to play with each other, each different player on the team. Uh, and one thing that's different this year than the last couple of years, we used to every, every year we used to have a great group of guys to practice against, and then the last couple of years for some overregulation and things like that, uh, we haven't had that ability. This year, the NCAA kind of deregulated some of that. Uh, so we've had a great group of practice guys to go against. Uh, so, you know, those guys have done a tremendous job. So our players have been able to match up against better athletes uh, than they are, quite frankly. And it's really helped. Team chemistry is fragile. Uh, with those issues you had last year, was there anything you – had you ever seen anything like that before with any team you've been around? And not to that extent, Jeff. Not not to that extent. And, it, you know, and it's it's interesting because – to be honest, I didn't know about it for a long time because they talked on the court. You know, they, they'd high five on the court and they kind of they did a good job of separating that from the practice court. But then when it comes down to it, it's, you know, I don't really care about her, the person next to me at the end of the game. You know, we're Tennessee State. It's a one possession game. We have a lead at the end. And we have three players, I, just, I remember it like it was yesterday, we have three players in a triangle around where the basketball comes off, they miss a shot. We have three standing there, and none of them were willing to do what it took to get the ball. They had one player go through the three, get it, put it back in, get fouled, and they win the ball game. Um, you know, so that's one thing, like, we just have to constantly talk about it. And with the leadership group that we have, I'm talking to them, you know, texting them constantly, hey, is there anything going on, let me know. And, uh, you know, I think our seniors and our returning players are just doing a good job of policing that right now. And they're going to have to continue that. 
you know, and then the coaching staff is going to have to do a good job being locked in with their position players and different players on the team. Hey, what, you know, finding out what issues might be arising so we can address them immediately instead of letting something fester and become a problem. Did you reach out to anybody to try maybe advice on how to deal with this? I, I talked to I talked to a bunch of coaches. At the end of each year, I, I evaluate our program and I'll I send game DVDs out to people. And now with Synergy, I just tell people to watch games. And you know, I, I talked to several coaches that have had issues in the past, and several coaches who never seem to have issues. And you know, the overriding thing was, you know, you have to develop that leadership in your locker room. And if you don't have it in the within the locker room, it really it doesn't matter what you do as a head coach. So, you know, that's one of the things we're making sure that I'm, I'm kind of a hands-off, hey, it's your team, give the players ownership type of guy. Um, but, you know, we're forcing that chemistry as much as you can. But when it comes down to it, it really it comes down to individuals and what's inside them, especially when we start playing games and, you know, people are getting mad because they're not getting the minutes that they thought they might get. And are their teammates willing to say, well, did you, you know, you didn't spend these many hours in the gym like she did. And, you know, you should never complain about your teammates having success. You should just support them. And then when you have your chance, you have to be ready, you know. And quite frankly, we had a few players last year who, instead of trying to be ready and being hungry about getting their opportunity, just went in the tank and pouted and didn't do extra work. So then, inevitably, opportunity comes, and are you ready for it? And we had some people who weren't ready for it last year when it came to them. And, uh, you know, the good thing is eight returners, several who went through that. We had a situation this summer uh, where we have one of our freshmen running, and Lexi Cassell gets on her about not running hard. You know, and Lexi just said, hey, I spent a whole year doing that. I know what it looks like. You're not going as hard as you can go. You know, and I thought that was a great moment and showed Lexi's growth. And, uh, you know, it's something where she, she pointed to an example of something she did that she wasn't proud of as a player. You know, and, and I think that's the biggest thing. They're challenging each other uh, and they're pointing out those things to each other. So it, it gets addressed right away. What expectations do you have in terms of contributions for Michaela Manley this year? Okay, uh, you know, right now, if we, if we tipped it up tonight, she'd be somewhere in the rotation. Uh, Michaela, you know, and it might surprise some people, uh, but Michaela plays with a chip on her shoulder. She plays like uh, she comes to practice every day. She spends extra time in the gym. And the way she works, she works like she has something to prove. Uh, and her, her character and her work ethic has been outstanding. And that coupled with her length and athletic ability as a defender, is probably going to earn her some playing time. What are you uh, most excited of, uh, to watch this year? Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to watching uh, Keyshawn's growth uh, as a player uh, and seeing how it translates to the court in games. And then just watching how uh, the returners, I, I want our returners, especially our seniors, to, en to enjoy the year, uh, to be honest with you. That's the most important thing to me, that they, they enjoy their senior season. So I'm looking forward to that. You know, people like Deshea Lee and Kyra Gulledge and Bianca Babich and uh, A.G. Smith, that they have a chance to, to enjoy their senior season, uh, you know, and, and go out with a shot at competing for a championship in March. And that's really what we're looking forward to. Do you expect the same offensive production that you guys had last year? I, I would hope it'd be better. Now, we were at the top of the league in, in scoring points per game. Um, I, th I believe our offense will be a lot more efficient uh, you know, one of the things we did last year and we've done the last several years, we, we shoot a lot of threes and we attack the basket a lot. We get to the free throw line as much as anybody. Uh, we have to be a better free throw shooting team. I believe we will be uh, because they under, they're, they're hearing the importance of it every day and they're, they're, they're going to get in the gym and make their, their free throws. Uh, but, you know, we have more people. You can't load up where last year you, you pretty much loaded up against Keanu Kirby or Kishan and James. And that's just, that's all you had to worry about. Uh, this year, you're going to have probably four or five people on the court at any one time that can score the ball. Uh, so hopefully we're more efficient, which will allow us to get our defense set more often. Last year, we scored in bunches, and then we would go stretches where we'd be in a drought and not be able to score the ball. So, uh, you know, hopefully that doesn't happen this year. I'd like for the production to be somewhere between, we were 73.6 last year. would like it to be between 75 and 80. 
uh, you know, and would like to create more easy baskets with our defense. Last year we were we were ninth in the conference in points created off turnovers. Uh, so we weren't getting the easy baskets that some other teams were, and we were dead last in the conference in defending the three-point shot, uh, and that has to improve dramatically, which with our quickness I, b I believe will. Uh, so that's what we're looking forward to.